You're listening to the Pink Property Podcast, where each week we will be showcasing one of the unique local businesses in our area, finding out about what they offer and the journey they took to get to where they are today. Hello and welcome to this week's episode of our Meet the High Street Pink Property Podcast. Um, I'm going to be introducing you today to Amelia from Apex Gym. Come on inside, have a little look, she's got a great story. Hello and welcome to this week's episode of the podcast and I'm joined by Amelia from the Apex Gym in Bishop Stortford. Um, Amelia, thank you very much for jumping on the podcast with us today. I know we surprised welcome. you a little bit with it. But <laughs> You're welcome, it's uh, fun. Thank you very much and happy birthday because I know it's your birthday thank today. You. Um, so um, we wanted to come down again as part of the, the show that we're doing and sort of exposing some of the local businesses and some of the great um, businesses in and around the town and the villages that we work with in. Um, and we wanted to come and see you and we got recommended to come and see you actually. Um, but we, I know you've got a great story and we just wanted to find out a bit more about the gym and what you do here. Um, can you start at the beginning for us really? Tell me, how did you get into fitness? So I used to be a support worker okay. for um, adults with additional needs. And I was supporting a guy to a gym, um, yeah, Down syndrome, yeah. Down syndrome. And he didn't really feel like he was very welcome or, f- or fitted into the gym. Yeah. So I remember taking him to like where the mirrors were. We grabbed some dumbbells, we stuck S Club 7 on, yeah. and we just had fun. Yeah. And it was from that moment I was like, okay, I want to do fitness for people awesome. with special needs, additional needs. Cool. So I then went away. I got my qualification. I worked in another gym and I just started building up classes. Why? Um, and then it got to the point where I was just fed up of carrying all my like gym equipment and hiring places. And yeah. then I was like, before I hit 30, I wanted my own gym. Yep. And then that's when I opened the rig gym. And this was the rig gym. This yeah, we're was in... the rig gym. Yep. And it was just this one side. Okay. So it was just this side and it was just, there was nothing in here. It was just mats. And I, we did classes. We had okay. a lot of like Muay Thai here, yep. self-defense yoga classes, but classes for everyone. Brilliant. So even children's classes. But mixture abilities. Yep. Um, even in the adult classes, mixture. Mm-hmm. So just so everyone can integrate and yeah, you know, yeah. and feel part of a community. Open it's all to all. Based, yeah, yeah. Like, Lovely. Very community vibe, like uh, amazing bunch of people, yeah. friends. You know, just training together and having fun. Good. And then COVID hit. COVID did hit. Yeah. Tell us, tell us what happened at th- that time. So we'd been open a year and a half, mm-hmm. and it was going really well for the first year of business. We were starting to like make a profit. It was, it was amazing. Good. COVID hit and obviously everything shut. Um, obviously I stopped everyone's memberships down here and it was, you know, it, it was it was tough. Yeah, yeah. Um but we managed, we stuck together, we'd I done like some online Zoom stuff. Okay, cool. Um, done all that and then we reopened and then the opportunity come to get that side. So you could double so we the could size. Double of the the side. Gym. Yeah. It wasn't the best time, but mm-hmm. for me, I'm I'm a risk taker. Yeah. I'll take it if I can see something bigger in the future. So yeah. I'd done it and it, obviously then we had to lock down again. It was through a lockdown and it just never really picked up. So, so never, people didn't the classes, really no, and enjoy, a lot of, come back to that group environment again. No, and I think that's the fear of the COVID, mm. uh, uh, from COVID and especially people with additional needs. Yeah. A lot of them, once they stopped the routine, routine stopped. It's hard, hard to, to get then back come into back. it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so the last few months was a struggle and it got to the point where I was like, I'm, I need to stop. Wow. I need to stop. Yeah. And I was trying to make that decision and it was November time and I was like, I'm probably going to have to shut. Um, but thankfully, yeah. <laughs> I met two amazing people okay. who we've now gone into business with. Brilliant. Um, Tell Mitch. us about them. So Mitch and Ollie. Um, Ollie is a strong man. Right. So the world's strongest teenager, age of 15. No like, way. It's incredible. Um, and Mitch, who yeah. is a PT and a sports massage therapist. Okay. So we all from diff- we specialize in all different areas yeah and we come and they come and they said they wanted to invest and they we could see a bigger picture so yeah. we decided to transform the gym into a gym yeah so scrapping the classes the only classes we have at the moment are kids okay. classes um but having an environment where people can come in and train and it's relaxed people feel like comfortable and confident yeah and it's yeah. like again that whole community feeling 
um, that people just love. You and it's that, nice. Yeah, it's just that vibe. Yeah. So yeah, we just put all our heads together and we was like, Apex. Love. Reach your peak, because Apex, top of the mountain, yeah. top of the peak, reach your peak with Apex. Brilliant. Oh, that's great. And, and a brilliant story to be able to actually pivot at a time of what I imagine was desperation when nobody it, was coming back to the gym and you had all the overhead and yeah, it was, it wasn't, yeah, you weren't able to service it, yeah. but to find a, a way through yeah. that is now successful. And I mean, the gym is, is great. There's loads of, loads of equipment here and, 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 and it looks fantastic. So yeah. uh, I, I bet you're pleased that I'm, I'm very it's happy. taken that evolution. Yeah, I'm very, because it got to, when I was like, I'm going to have to shut, it was, it hurt. Because, yeah. you know, I invested all my savings, everything into a place that was amazing before COVID, it mm -hmm. was. But then I think COVID as well, like I kind of lost the love for it as well, because it was so hard. It was the trouble yeah. that, you know, the stress of everything yeah. and the worry mm. that it just, it got too much. Yeah. And then, yeah, having them now, and like yeah. you're just part of a team again. Yeah, it's just, it's, oh, it's, it's just, lonely, I love it. It? Like, it, is lonely. it. It is lonely. Well, it can be very lonely in it's, business, yeah. so. When, when you're on your own, you have yeah. everything to worry about. Yeah. It's, it, it gets yeah. hard. Yeah, 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 but, yeah. Brilliant. So. We're now in the new the new Apex gym, and with all the stuff here, that, tell us about the sort of classes and the people that you're certain not classes. We don't do classes, the, but the sort of people that you're serving now and the the customers and 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 the so so we do do kit, well we do kids classes, kids classes. still got kids classes because cool. I can't I can't not do them. And what sort of age group and what sort of things that I do? So from five yeah up to big kids, yeah so like I think 14, 15 is like the old eldest in my um, class, and it's more like circuit, a little bit of Muay Thai, a bit right. of boxing. Um, and then just fun, Brilliant. like it's fun. It's a place where people get to meet and you know, all abilities as well. Yeah. So like, um, I do have some kids with autism, mm -hmm. ADHD, but yep. it's all, everyone just helps each other. Brilliant. So it's really nice. So we have that, we do a lot of one-to-ones down here. And then obviously we have like the gym where it's a gym where people can come in mm -hmm. and just use the gym. Yeah. But we really strive on the community and actually helping people. So, you know, if someone, we have a lot of people with injuries yeah. or, things that have happened that we can know we can help them yeah, to get yeah. stronger. Um, and some people are scared to go to a gym. Because yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. It's over can be intimidating. Yeah, kind of. and it's, mm. it's a scary thing, especially if you don't know what you're doing. Yeah. So we have like, we have workouts of the day on the boards. Yeah. We can write people programs and know we will be with people for the first few sessions, making sure they're exercising correctly, make sure they know what they're doing and, the, and, mm. and actually helping them achieve yeah. their goals and what they want to achieve. Yeah, yeah. Instead of just being in a gym and be like, you're just a number. You're on your own. Here, yeah, yeah, you're yeah. a person. You know, yeah, you're yeah, an actual yeah. person. Lovely. And it's just, it's a whole, like, you know, it's just friends. Brilliant. You know, you see it. It's just, it's great. And do, um, does Ollie do sort of any specialism around the strength training anymore and so, the strongman stuff? So Ollie, he he has a competition coming up soon. So he does a lot of his competition prep down here. Yeah. Um, and then there's a lot of other strong guys, that, strongman guys that come Brilliant. here. And it's really, it's really cool. Yeah. Um, I know he's looking at doing some classes for women as well. Yeah. Um, to get into strongman mm -hmm. competitions and stuff like that. At the moment, yeah, it's in it's in the works. We've all Lovely. we've got like some plans that yeah, are happening. Yeah, yeah. Oh, um, and I know Mitch, he wants to do some classes for people like rehab rehabilitation classes stuff. and Lovely. stuff because he's very good at that. Yeah, he's very that's good. the fear, isn't it? You come back to training after injury and you end up injuring yourself because you don't know what you're doing or you're not being overseen properly yeah. and you make the previous problem worse. So yeah, and that's the thing, and that's one thing we really we we really value. Is yeah, you helping people. Right. You know, we don't want people to make the same mistake and get another injury or hurt themselves. We want to make them get stronger yep. and actually get, like, achieve what they want. Amazing. And like, help him with nutrition and stuff like that as well. So it's... Good stuff. Yeah. Well, look, it looks like you've got a really bright future here. Yeah. Obviously, the evolution of the Apex Gym. And um, I wish you all the luck as, as we go on now. Hopefully, no more lockdowns. No and, uh, more, hopefully. Keep the gym no. getting nice and busy. Yeah. Um, we'll make sure there is a link to your socials and your website in the show notes. So anybody wanting to look into it further or reach out to Amelia can do that um, through the show notes and the links we'll put below. Thank you ever so much again for joining me today. Thank you. That's all we've got time for. Cheers. If you and your business would like to feature in an upcoming episode on our Meet the High Street season, we'd love to hear from you. Please get in contact.